We need a theme tune. We do need we a do. We need a theme tune. Mum, you've got a kind of your theme tune. Now. Give us a theme tune. Almost got, go. almost got, Mum. Thank you very much for that. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello, boss. Hi. Hello, Mum. And who's this in the other <laughs> corner? <laughs> I wonder who that could be. Who could it be? I'm absolutely could boiling. I'm just going <laughs> to take my disguise off. Oh, oh my God. Ta-da! Yes. ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> <laughs> My God, that was so hot. <laughs> it's oh, a very hot day here. Was, I was we have no idea. My COVID mask was, uh, yeah, getting a little bit warm. <laughs> oh, no, you're glowing. Positively oh. glowing there. Jeez. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, Simon. Thank you for being here with us. My pleasure. On our very first, what's it called? Afghan calling. Afghan yeah. calling. Afghan calling. With Simon Mason. Uh, with Simon. So, well, let's go around and do a little very quick intros in. So, uh, good evening, boss. Where are you tonight? I'm in Sheffield. Again. It's boiling. <laughs> You've really? made me wear this. I'm sweating. Mum's idea. Yeah. It's good. We can model. Shall I see pajamas? Really? Oh, We've got PJs on. Oh. Yeah. Business on the top. Bedtime on the bottom. Excellent, excellent. I'm ready to jump straight into bed as soon as this is done. Oh. Mum, where are you? I am in Sunny Hive. Bum, 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 bum. Step toes. Stop <laughs> it, you're so horrible. I've been swimming today in the sea, first time this year. Went and had my first dip, which was lovely. Very nice. I'll probably end up really ill tomorrow, but <laughs> it was like a little oh. pond today. Beautiful. Lovely. And, and uh, Mr. Simon, yep. where are you? I'm in my kitchen. Uh, I tried to recreate goth kitchen, but uh, mine is a kind of brown sort of shade, <laughs> unfortunately. Shit kitchen, this one is. Um, so, yeah, I'm in Livingston, uh, just outside of Edinburgh, and uh, finished my day at work, and now joining you guys. Thank you for being here. And I'm even... Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, sorry, Mum. No, I didn't I get the memo just, about I'm it. so sorry. I was just going to say that if you're in your kitchen, what is this all this high fidelity behind you? I know. You? All that, oh, that yeah. 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 Few records, few records. Nonsense. Oh. I didn't get and the memo about the, the pink kitchen. shirt, though. I, I should have been warned about team shirt. All you these admins in pink. I've come oh. in yellow. Can I show oh. my shirt just quickly? You. you can. Yes. I need to show that off. That, that's for Bob and Jilly, who made Shit Cat t-shirts. So, what is Shit Cat? It's uh, Nicola's tattoo, which is possibly the worst tattoo of all time. <laughs> it is that. That is the tattoo. It barely recognizes oh, like a cat. A cat with three eyes. It's what got an all-seeing eye, hasn't it? With boobs as eye. well. Yep. Uh, with the weirdest long worm-like tail. It is the strangest thing. <laughs> Shit cat. Anyway. Shit cat with sexy <laughs> boobs. So thank you for being here with us, Mr. Mason. Excellent. Um, and so we're going to have a chinwag, really. Uh, Lynn's and Mum have got questions to fire at you. Sounds good. Like, like, like Parky. Um, Parky and Graham Norton. Who else is that? I don't know who else is. Can you do a Jonathan Ross impression, Mum? Can you do your no. questions in the style of Jonathan Ross, please? No, I can't. I can't. No. Carolina Hearn? No. No. Right. Sorry. And then, and then we'll finish up, Simon, with a, with a, um, with a quick fire round. I'm oh, ready oh, for that. Yeah. Uh, world good. famous quick fire round. Indeed. Sometimes. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. Ready? Over to you, Bob. Ready? All right. Yeah. Cool. Well, you thank first. you for joining us. We wanted to make this as much about Afghan as we did um, the bands as well. So, for some reason, you came to mind <laughs> as the first person we wanted to interview for this. I don't Cheap. know why. <laughs> Cheap and available. <laughs> <laughs> so, Certainly. first question, just to get us started. How and when did you discover idols? How many times have you seen them live? And how many times have you signed Deb's autograph? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Discovered Idols it was through uh, uh, an Afghan legend, Big Jeff, from Bristol. Yeah. No. So, I knew Jeff, I knew, I knew nothing about Bristol music scene at all, but I did go to lots of kind of festivals down <laughs> south. So I went to Green Man Festival and End of the Road Festival. And at one of those, somewhere along the way, uh, obviously met Jeff, got to know him. In sometime in 2016, I think, in a conversation with Jeff, 
uh, asking him who was good and who was bad and who was interested and who he was going to see. He did say a band called Idols. Obviously, I guess Jeff knew them well. And uh, so that just stuck. I wasn't particularly looking for a new band or anything like that or, or anything. You know, I was quite happy going to see the stuff I'd always been going to see. But um, as Jeff mentioned them, I think then the next thing I heard was obviously a six music track and then took note of kind of when they were coming to Edinburgh and uh, would have gone to see them at Sneaky Pete's. When was that, March 2017? Yeah, the Brutalism. Yeah. Brutalism. Yeah. Yeah. Brutalism. And kind of took off from there. But again, only as a casual fan initially. So I saw them a couple of times over that summer at festivals. Yeah. And was still just going to see other bands, you know, not not particularly in, fussed about going to see Idols a lot. But I think um, it's, I'd started to kind of talk about them with friends and it would have been probably in about November of 2017, I think. I met up with Ange Sohn, other Afghaner, and now myself and Ange were friends from... 30 years before just through going to see bands so we oh, really? were mates for a long time past yeah but, but but we hadn't seen each other in about that length of time maybe about 28 years or something like that but the conversation we had that night was Ange saying that she was a fan of idols I was a fan of idols she told me about the Afghan I think I joined thereabouts there or then and it kind of took off from there <laughs> so since that 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 first year, I think I'd seen them four times by the end of 2017. It was up to about 34 by the end of 2018, and it's now 74. Wow. <laughs> so, so yeah, I can't count that block by block west. We can't count that, can we? That was shonky. <laughs> no, that I wasn't a real game. <laughs> okay. So, Sorry, 74 times. 74 times, yeah. Not... More than most, not not as many as some, not as many as some, but probably. Well, that, that is another question, actually. So we might as well ask that now. Is there a band you've seen more times than Idols? Oh me, uh, yeah. There's quite yeah. a few actually. Yeah. Okay. So I'm catching up on things like the Wonder Stuff, Loop, the Primitives. They're all over a hundred times, I guess. Wow. And, uh, but yeah, so we're getting there. But I hadn't done that for years. That was that's going back to when I was like. 21 or 22 so 20 odd years 25 years where i'd followed the band kind of obsessively so that idols definitely something changed there that yeah. you know so you know, what just, was it do you think why did you go after all those years of not doing yeah. what, what what i mean they are an incredible band you know there's no yeah. question about it they're an incredible live band even in amongst the you know if you go to live gigs every two or three nights of the week, you can, it's run of the mill, you know, you see a lot of kind of dull stuff, but Idols definitely wasn't that. And uh, I think uh, immediately you're kind of taken by the characters in the band. So there's four, five unique kind of, you know, characters. It's hard to kind of put your finger on it, but obviously it's not just me, it's not just us. There's, you know, 26,000 Afghan that obviously recognize the same. So uh, there's definitely something there that kind of, and, and and that's obviously, and again, that's the a huge part of it, isn't it? You know, because once you do start going, you start meeting yeah. people through that. Yeah. And obviously now, you know, because I'd never been part of a, an online community before for any band that I was interested in, you know. So, uh, and maybe I, and even after joining the Afghan, I didn't immediately start contributing, but it quickly sucks you in, you know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and and yeah, I would say now more than ever, it's, it's more meeting friends at the gigs than actually you know I mean, well it's 50 50 isn't it you know? yeah, yeah. yeah but the community is a big part of it isn't it the sort of meets yeah the meetups yeah you know knowing yeah. that oh god i'm gonna see whoever well yeah exactly right and uh, and i guess that's become part of it because then obviously traveling around seeing the band you know that you're gonna meet friends that you've met through the afghan so you mm -hmm. kind of know in advance when you're going somewhere, who are you going to run into? It's all part of the, yeah. It's you're you're never fun. alone anymore. You're yeah. never alone. <laughs> you must, you must never alone. Like, you must get someone like, because I do. If you go to a, another gig anywhere now, there's yeah. generally someone there from the Afghan. Oh, yeah, without question. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I'm usually somebody who come up and say, are you Brian to me? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but that's fine. Yeah, so yeah yes, definitely. Yeah, you do that. Yeah. yeah, but anywhere you go, yeah, inevitably, it is a huge community and there's a lot of active members of it. So yeah, you're going to definitely bump into people. I mean, well, and again, that's another side of it. So when I first kind of got into it, obviously, yeah, my Facebook page was 200 people or something like that bit dull nothing too exciting but now 800 odd friends most of them would be afghans wow. it's a pretty good little community yeah. i just i find it really crazy when i go to see the band now and i'll, I'll hear that there's a meetup and i'll go and it's all been organized you know without any of my doing even though i kind of run the group and just find it insane that i think it was manchester and leeds they were like maybe a hundred people yeah in the meetups, I think it's yeah. like you and Nicola and some other people are a big part of setting those meetups up, and it's just brilliant, especially for people who are going on their own. Mm. Yeah, oh, well, totally. Because that, I mean, that's, I think the the meetup bit has be, become, I'd say, as much as the part of it as the gig is, and definitely encouraging people to come along to those, and you know, yeah, it's brilliant. And and yeah, so many people who have come on their own, and then obviously, you know they've got a friendly face to come and chat to. Mm. I think I'm not saying I'm that friendly face, but... Yeah. No, no, <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely are. Definitely but, but are. Yeah. It's, 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 people are very open and willing to talk. And if you've got yes. that Ireland badge or that Afghan, the Afghan badge definitely. on those ones, That's the icebreaker, isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 But I think for me, I think the first time I really... I mean, last year when I sort of it was just a beautiful day wasn't it when we were all yeah. outside we just sprawled outside that pub and there was just hundreds of people weren't there and there was some really nice guy that helped me take a photo because I wanted to try and encompass everybody and so we went and asked in um, the pub if we could go upstairs and they said no so then we went yes. over to a hotel and said we marched upstairs to the uh, <laughs> to the um, first floor restaurant and I said can I come in here and take a photo and they said no so he ended up sort of going opposite and just climbing up onto some sort of like you know first floor um I don't know, um, whatever it was that he climbed up and took a picture and it was just like, oh my God, all these people are here. Afghan, it's just incredible. Yeah, I, th I think all those, you know, some of the big meetups now, I'd say a hundred of people turning up before a gig. It's just amazing. And in fact, there's, there's more people than you can get around to chat to. So you might have spoken Definitely. to them online mm -hmm. before. Yeah, you can't, yeah. you know, but yeah, it's just a good thing. But it, obviously the other good thing with the Afghan, it, in, in, in organizing the meetups before the gigs, uh, particularly when going abroad, because you go into places maybe you've not visited before, so you don't really know where you're going. And uh, but the number of times, you know, it's it's just such a good thing to turn up and find local people there who are mm. then friendly and and obviously you know immediately kind of welcoming is 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 such a good thing. Obviously, a lot of my traveling I've done uh, is with Lindy. Now I know. Lindy's maybe not part of the Afghan as such, but she obviously does a lot of the idols gigs, and uh, and we going around all the kind of uh, America and and Europe, organizing. You know, I'd organize the meet up through the Afghan, but we would always then find people like I say in America willing to put us up places to stay. Pretty cool. So uh, yeah, awesome. a really good community. Is there a, a particular gig or place that you've travelled that you have maybe a story that's that you'd like to kind of recount that I don't know something that's very special that's happened on one of these well, one of these trips abroad. Yeah, I mean, I've got a few that I probably won't recount any of the drunken ones. I've had a few really dumb times, particularly in Europe, where very drunk. But lots of people do that and go abroad and get hammered. But I've oh, had yeah. some, but I've had some good uh, times. Just I say in meeting people that one of the ones was uh, in Porto which was uh, just uh, maybe five people came to the meetup before that gig, but uh, I'm still friends with all of them then on Facebook. Uh, it was just such a, a brilliant day, beautiful city. Uh, got there early in the morning, wandered around, looked around the, the city, but then went, met the, you know these people at the meetup. Just, it was such a, uh, honestly, uh, can't tell you how good that felt that day you know this amazing kind of uh meeting of 
computer never met before but uh, you know you've got an immediate connection and it was just such a great gig that night as well uh, it was uh, yeah really really good fun and yeah stuff like that that definitely kind of feels pretty special about it all yeah i've got similar similar gigs that spring to mind as well by that um well, another question is there and this is from Ange actually she mentioned Ange earlier yeah yeah is there a band that you've seen multiple times that you now look back on and think, fuck, that was a waste of money? Yeah, Ned's Atomic Dustbin. <laughs> Without fucking question. I bet she knew the answer to that one. She knew, that, she knew exactly <laughs> what I would say. There's absolutely no question about it. What a dreadful band. What on earth was I thinking? What, How many times did you go? Actually, uh, I'm probably not too bad with that. That must be 50 plus easily. Wow. But fuck me. Jesus. Why? Why? I don't know. No idea. <laughs> terrible. Absolutely terrible. Didn't they produce the most band t-shirts ever? I read Do, do you know what? Yeah. They, they were they, from that era of uh, yeah. where it, the t-shirt was as important as the back. Uh, yeah. The yeah. Back, back, more important than the t-shirts I read. They, done. Yeah. 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 I'm not getting you. I reckon idols have learned a little bit from that. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah you every couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, rolling in. So 50 times and you still went and it was still shit. That's pretty still shit. Yeah, that's <laughs> a <no> question. <laughs> Terrible. I look back in shame. <laughs> yeah. But listen, she's only asking that question because she was there. So <laughs> <laughs> and she loved it as well. Mum, <laughs> um, do you have some questions? I do. I got, um, have you ever stage dived? Uh, I have, but when I not to idols, I'm I'm not a. I, I did when I was probably twenty years old. Do you know? I was put off stage diving. Uh, I remember stage diving at a gig in Glasgow, and rolling off somebody's shoulders, and hitting a concrete floor very hard. Mm. That quickly yeah. tells you don't yeah. don't do this. It's but, not uh, a good idea. It's mm. just not a good idea. But uh, but yeah, I'm I'm kind of I'm, I'm not a I'm not a pro stage dive person uh, yeah too many people with concussions and uh, yeah. In fact, yeah one of our friends michael concussed at an idols gig so uh, it's just not yeah mm. have you done it mum yeah no never 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 i it might be on my little bucket list maybe but i would be frightened that everyone would think oh fucking it <laughs> oh. mum like would, would drop her and i would no because you don't wear anything you don't <laughs> you literally well, you're, you're like a feather if you're gonna you know put a nice pair of soft Trainers on, yeah. I would. Ta I take my boot. I take my boots off. I'd have nice, nice, nice unsweaty socks on, so that I wouldn't hurt anybody. I'd have nice little, nice little socks on, like Jenny, like Jenny Beth. When Jenny Beth stage dived, um, when we saw her years ago, when she was in Savages, and she took her shoes off, bless her. How sweet no, is that? That's, take your yeah. shoes off. <laughs> she didn't want to lose diving. She didn't want to lose her shoes on. That's what that was. And she wears no. like those, Lou. It would, on this occasion, she wasn't. She was just head to toe in black. I, actually, I don't know what her shoes are. Maybe she just had socks on full stop. I have no, I don't really, I can't really remember. I just remember get her seeing. On. We can ask her one day. Yeah. No, no, I'll be just like that, just looking at her. I, <laughs> I can't. I've just got too much of a girl crush on that woman. I can't. I couldn't possibly. Have you ever jumped off a stage, mum, a boss? God. I've crowd surfed lots of times. Have you? When? Who, when um, what gig? Oh, I see. Eurovision. <laughs> oh, I love television. I was a tequila girl at the London Forum. If anyone remembers their song Tequila. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. I was on stage then, so maybe I did jump off back into the crowd. But I used to crowd surf a lot. Blue Tone, Shed Seven, Terrorvision, Oasis, Blur. Yeah. You probably saw Terrorvision a lot, Simon, surely. Uh, I'd seen them a few times. A mate of mine ended up working for them. Jeez. So, uh, but yeah, I never stage dived to them though. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, Brian, has Brian ever stage dived? No, never. 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 Oh. Right, never you're never you're as light as a feather now though, so you could. With, I don't know you why. went Doc like, Martens. My, my initial thought was I'll lose my keys, I'll lose my phone. Yeah. Not about hurting myself or anyone else, just losing mm. shit. I, wouldn't, <laughs> I hope to do it one day. I hope to do it one day. Some Take your dog. Take your dogs off. Nervous, even when there's been a fair few gigs over the years where Joe's like come up on stage, like doing an extra and stuff like that, and I'm always like, no, no, not me, not me. I'm, I'm all right down here. But I will <laughs> one day, and I'll, yeah. But I'll probably one of the, one of the little small secret gigs one somewhere, like when they do Ebden again or something. Yeah. I'm not doing yeah. it. Fuck that. 
Oh, well, I'll have to one day. I've got to cross it off the list, haven't I? Yeah. Me and imagine Mark, the, we do it together, the Brian, cheer. holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine the cheer, though, when Brian gets on stage, you know. The <laughs> you should do that. Oh, bless. Right, so another question is, mm -hmm. what's the longest run of gigs that you've done? Ever? Or with idols? Just, not with well, just ever, just ever in one in one. Just so I guess. Uh, so I probably should explain. So I, when I was younger, I dropped out of uni to do this, do traveling around and following bands. So it wasn't unusual to to spend quite a long time trips around, following you know, going to gigs. So for about two years, that's pretty much all I did, and I didn't go home. I used to just sleep on floors or wherever. So uh, I think the longest kind of run I remember was about 30 days, just a gig every night for 30 days. That's pretty, pretty hard going. <laughs> you get a bit tired after that. But um, but yeah, Idols though, I think was about 14 days, that last UK mm -hmm. tour. Mm -hmm. So um, that, that was pretty good going. Do you wear plugs? Simon, do you wear plugs in your ears? Uh, I should have done years ago. And I've started... Last year was the first okay. time that I, I started wearing. And to be honest, is the damage already done? Probably, <laughs> you know. Uh, and, and now I find if I put earplugs in, I have to take them out after the first song. It's just, I feel like I'm kind of mm. underwater or something. It's, That's quite it. I don't like it at all. Yeah. I mean, there's part of me that I like feeling the music in, mm. you know, feeling the vibration. However, mm. I realise the damage it's doing, you know. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, because if I go to gigs, sometimes it takes me two or three days to get rid of that, that yeah. hum and that thing in my ear. If you're doing that night after night after night. So, yeah. So the thing I now know is that I never feel any kind of after effects now, but that is probably because I say the damage is done. You're already yeah. fucked, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're not. You're, yeah. Brilliant. Mum? Well, I have a question. Um, I hear and I see on your Facebook that during lockdown you have got a passion, which is baking. So oh, yeah. tell, us, tell us about your baking. Absolutely. <laughs> what else is there to do right now? Right. Well, I was right. going out to gigs two or three nights a week. Now I can't do anything else. I can only do things like baking. And so, yeah, that's my new thing. But, definitely. but there was a time, I, there was a time, I think, in the week where you, you knocked up on one day three fucking loaf cakes. Now, did I would need to know, <laughs> did you eat them all? Do you eat them all? Uh, I'm, I'm passing them out to the needy in the end. Um... <laughs> oh. uh, do you know what? Uh, I've been... I ha if I did eat them all, uh, then yeah, I'd be struggling to get out of the house at the end of lockdown. You would, uh, I've actually, you'd be like it. yeah. I have been uh, I've been passing them on to my mum and dad, who live reasonably close by, and are both kind of isolating. Both are kind of elderly now, and uh, mm. my mum's not terribly well, so she shouldn't really be out and about. But um, no. so I, I've been taking taking them around there, fattening no. them up. <laughs> oh, but I, I, ju I just wanted to say from um, a mother's perspective and, uh, and a bit of a baking queen myself, because I do like to don the old apron in the kitchen, that your drizzle is a little bit to be desired, <laughs> isn't it, quite frankly? It's more like... To, to be fair, you're not the first to... You're not the first to have told me that. <laughs> no, I think you need, you, need, you need to put some more icing sugar in that. You, you're absolutely you know right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I need to uh, thicken up my drizzle. Yeah. You do, seriously, yeah. It's just not a euphemism. <laughs> you've, been, you've been told. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, and I think I've got one more question, which is, can you tell us about your kitties? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But listen, uh, Nicola did say, try and get them on camera. It's not going to happen. Uh, oh. They are... They, they, Somewhere... <laughs> Somewhere right now, Br Brian's cat was out and about earlier. No, yeah, he's uh, gone there. Yeah, wow. has the disappeared. Oh, he's up so mine have definitely, they have disappeared, unfortunately. So yeah, they won't be appearing on camera tonight. That's a um, shame. Two, two little kittens, going to be one year old next month. Uh, That's gone so quick. Yeah, got, got them off a friend who is a, a foster mum for rescue cats. And she took in a feral mum, pregnant mum kit cat. I think there were six kittens, and uh, I got two of them. So brother mm. and sister, black, gorgeous, goth cats, Definitely absolutely, goth cats. Yeah. complete oh, bastards. What? What are they called? 
Uh, Eldritch and Susie, beautiful. obviously. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, we've got one more question, Simon. <laughs> right, go, go. Okay, well, it's not from me, so give me two seconds. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, wait, wait. wait a minute, there's pies there. It's all the kids. How did you get those pies? Where, um, where are you? I, the, the only shop that is open in Reading, the pie shop. So. No way. As soon as I mentioned pies. <laughs> what would you like? Uh, listen, as soon, uh, a cat has just jumped into the kitchen, heard me say the word pies. Oh. <laughs> incredible. Uh, she's fucked off. I'm well not going to hang out. Uh, I noticed uh, admin are all wearing team shirts, and we are also wearing team shirts. You're, are you wearing your shit cat t shirt? Yeah, I am. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> This wasn't planned in any way. <laughs> really, he wasn't. Really wasn't. Really saw, wasn't. I saw, I, saw, I saw the admins in their uniforms, so yeah, why not? Very good. Well Very done. Good. But that's not your first team shirt, is it? You've both got the I'm Scum ones. We've got I'm you Scum made, ones. You've those ones, yeah. Worse than that, I think we are, uh, we're... We've got more than team shirts. We have team tattoos. You do match tattoos. tattoos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've got more than one matching tattoo. But uh, we did get Afghan branded mm. at some stage, which uh, I think that, but again, to write that goes back to what we were talking about. That just shows the power of it all. But uh, mm. I don't think that was getting too carried away when we did that. That was definitely a, a kind of just a reflection of how important it yeah. all was. Absolutely. It's yeah. a, it's a, it's a brilliant design. So you did, you knocked that up actually, I, didn't you? I, on the I back knocked of the it up. Packet packet yeah. didn't you? I yeah. did on the back of a fag packet. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, again, yeah, that was just, I mean, definitely, uh, I think was a commitment and shows how important it is for both of us, both mm. you know, myself and Nicola. I'd say, uh, obviously we met, uh, I met Nicola at the first, Afghan meetup. I think we tried to attend. It was one that Nicola was meant to arrange at oh, the end that? of the road. Yeah, festival. yeah, that was. Yeah, you it really... it up. You legged it. She was too I, I, shy. Oh, Nervous. I did, no, no, I, no, no, is, no, no. You lies, did. Lies. You did. That is not. <laughs> it, I, I've got people who can confirm this. The people who were at, at that gig, at the end of that gig, uh, watched you run into the distance. There was a, a trail of smoke behind you. You, <laughs> you little shit. We, <laughs> we were all waiting we're, to meet up. Was it, was, it, was, it after, was it after I was finished playing? Yes. <laughs> oh, do you know why? Because I legged it to see white denim and then I didn't see them. <laughs> uh, there you go. But that, that, was, that would have no, been the very first Afghan. We were trying to meet in the crowd. Yeah. That was that would have been our very but first we afternoon. Met in the but we met in the crowds. That was the first time we met in the crowd. We did. We did. Yeah. Because we were we were getting shoved down the front and I kind of looked at you and saw a beard and went, Is that Simon? I had no idea what you looked like. And then you <laughs> went, Are you Nicholas? Like, oh yeah, hello. <laughs> I just went forward into the pit. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, really, that's bringing a tear to my eye now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <No> memories. <laughs> Right. Did you have a question or did you just come on and show the pies? Pies. I need, I need to, well, excuse the pun, and a crust, so. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I, I, well, I could ask you a question. Go on. Um, oh, okay. Um, right, I think they covered it with the gigs and stuff. Um, all right, here's, here's a... Here's a what's, what's your favourite uh, gif or meme and... Can you impersonate it? Oh, no, <laughs> 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 no uh, man, that's like it's like a job interview. Where you throw in some. The other question is like the killer. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no, I can't. Uh, honestly, off the top of my head, what's my favourite gift? No idea. I, um, I could do the pulling the pants up. Oh one. yeah. Well, nobody needs to see that. No, no, no. Honestly, <laughs> nobody needs to see that. <laughs> right. So the answer to that is it's no. no, no. It's, it's not for. Big fat no. We're um, uh, It's before nine o'clock. We're, 
We're still before the watershed. <laughs> Can't yeah. do that one. Thank you, Nicola. That's all right. Good to see, <laughs> you. see you all. See you later. So, I think we're on to the quick fire round. So oh, quick fire. Right. Okay. If you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. You ready? I'll leave you guys to it then. No, stay on for the quick no, fire. Stay, stay on for the stay, quick stay, stay. fire. Oh, I'll, I'll still press you then. <laughs> so, um, top, top your head, mate. No thinking. Don't do what Lee did and fuck off for half hour. All right. Find in the fridge. <laughs> I'll just mention I've got my, where are they? Yes. And yeah, yeah. Yes to no. <laughs> Ready. Well, prepared. You want to hope there's questions in there then that reply yes. Or yeah, no. exactly. Oh, Fuck it. They're oh. useless then. Right, go on. Question one. Brutalism or joy? Brutalism for me. Uh, it is. Tea or but then I've not heard no. Dog Shit Monday though. So. You, yeah, true. true. Tea or exactly. coffee? Yeah. Tea so. or coffee? Coffee. Favourite film? Uh, uh, Tron. Love it. Bl Blur or Oasis? Blur. Won, totally won that war. No, um, <laughs> that's the wrong answer. Before we move on, that is the wrong answer. <laughs> um, how many times have you seen the status quo live? Oh, uh, good question. Uh, not, not as many as some. Um, maybe four now. Um, I'm not ashamed to admit it either. Four too many. <laughs> Um, Harry Potter or Star Wars? Uh, <coughs> neither. D d don't like either. Rubbish. Terrible. We, I used to like you. Um, <laughs> favorite, favorite TV show? Uh, I don't really watch TV. The only, I got my first TV in 10 years, t two months ago now, at the start of this lockdown. I didn't have a TV for 10 years. And uh, since I've got the telly, I've ended up watching only one thing. I went on to Netflix. And I've watched, uh, it was three episodes of a thing about Ted Bundy, serial killer. So oh, I'm going to have to say that. that that's mm. my favourite, because I ain't seen anything else. Brilliant. What uh, about Food Network? <laughs> well, yeah, don't, don't do EastEnders, regardless of what them two say. Yeah, oh, no, oh, I'll get out. Um, big one, Marmite, yes or no? Oh, big yes. Big, well big done. yes. Well done. Yeah. Pedal bin, pedal bin or swing bin? Wow. <laughs> I'm looking over there, I have a pedal bin. Well done. Uh, yeah. you if you had to pick one, what's the most favourite band T-shirt you've ever bought? Wow, wow, good. <laughs> that Cradle of Filth shirt, actually, that that goes down well. <laughs> <laughs> Again, um, can't put it on. We're not post watershed. No, don't. Um, drunk or sober? Drunk. Love being drunk. Great. Dan Danny the Delco or Danny Navito? Jeez. <laughs> Uh, Danny DeVito, who does it? He's a what a cheeky looking face he's got. He's small enough really. to hide in your beard. He, 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 is, he is. What's your favourite pie? Oh man, hey, anything done by Pie Minister. It's got to be a mothership though with uh, peas and, and shallots, man. The Pie Minister and, mothership. Awesome. Pea and shallot pie. Well, well no, th th that's the additional. So any one of the Pie Minister range. In fact, uh, let's go for uh, Chicken of Aragon by Pie Minister. If you've mm. not had, then seek these Sounds out. Like terribly white rows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, have you ever actually lost your teeth? Hey, well, that it, it was a, a bit of a myth. Do you know what I did that <laughs> night? I put. So the answer is yes, I have. Okay. I, I, I knocked a tooth out playing hockey at school, but the, it's subsequently been replaced by a false tooth. But that night in Holland. I put my teeth through my lip, so uh, it was a bit messy, but the teeth were still in place. But I chipped them. I chipped, I've chipped them twice in the, <laughs> in, in the process of following idols, so uh, and, and that, that, that was a bit messy that night. But, um, but yeah, they have stayed in place, though. Well done. Your favourite UK venue? Ah, oh, oh man. Uh, Trades Club in Hebden Bridge it is amazing. Lovely. You mentioned it earlier. That is yeah. a great place. Um, sleep with moths or pseudocreme? <laughs> <laughs> pseudocreme is a very important resource. I think it, it does ha serve a very good purpose. I, I, I'll say pseudocreme there. Brilliant. The strangest thing you've ever eaten? Wow. <laughs> um, nothing too early. I, I'm such a basic food person. I've eaten nothing outrageous. Probably the worm at the bottom of a tequila bottle. Oh, okay. okay. What's, the and what's the what's the worst thing you've ever bought online? 
man, I do that regularly. Probably status <laughs> quo t-shirts. I don't know. <laughs> there are some shocking things. Your five foot? Um, my right foot is a beauty. It's a beauty. I, know, I had noticed. Yeah. <laughs> your last question, Tom, would describe yourself in three words. Uh, jings. Fat, hairy Scotsman. Hey. That'll do. <laughs>